Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is my great honor to introduce today's speaker, Yutaka Terasawa of Nagoya University. He's uh, working on Navia's toxic situation, but he's also a very, a very leading harmonic analyst. And he took his PhD 2007 in Hokkaido University, from Hokkaido University. And then he visited many places as postdoc, including Max Planck in Leipzig, in Paris, in Prague, and Tohoku University and University of Tokyo. And uh, from 2013, he became assistant professor of University of Tokyo, but he moved to Nagoya University 2014 as an associate professor. And today, so he's, he's working on both, uh, not only Nagoya stocks, but also harmonic analysis. Of course, it's very, very related, but today he's going to talk on convergence of a non-local to a local diffusion inter diffuse interface model for two-phase flow with unmatched densities. Please, please start. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. So I'd like to speak on this topic. So, uh, and uh, this is a joint work with Helmut Abels in Regensburg University, which is my you know, collaborator. So I move to the slide. Okay. Mm. So it stopped. So I cannot turn the page. So maybe I, I first stop the sharing and then okay. So wait. Yutake, you uh, need only to select sorry, the PDF sorry. file. Yeah, yeah, uh, once again, sorry. And yeah, I'd like to, yeah, so this is this okay? Can you read? So, mm, and, uh, internet connection is not I'd so like good. to start. Can you read? Yeah, can you make full screen, please? Yeah, but if I make, make a full screen, it's, it might be difficult to change the page. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm afraid. Okay, keep like but this and then. So keep this yeah. style, keep this style. Is this okay? Yeah. So maybe this is readable, is it okay? And uh, I, yeah, so, so our model described the behavior of the mixture of two fluids, such as oil and water. So. I, I explained two phase flow, and but the, our model equation is a bit complicated. So we'd like to explain simpler models first. So first phase, uh, one phase navier Stokes equation first. So which describes only one fluid motion. So we, we first consider a Cauchy problem for the navier Stokes equations for single fluids such as water. So and this is Navier-Stokes equation. So this is first equation of momentum equation. And the second equation is mass conservation. And the third equation is initial data. So, and we consider the equation in the whole space and RD and d is larger than or equal to two. And the t is time, uh, so between zero and t, which is finite. And sometimes it can be taken infinity. And here, uh, v is uh, velocity vector field and the p is pressure field, which is scalar. And the while v zero stands for the given initial velocity. Okay, so and the, let the initial data V0 belong to L2 sigma or RD, which is the closure of C infinity zero sigma, which is compactly supported C infinity solenoidal vector functions with respect to the L2 norm. Go to next page. 
So we call that the measure of function V on Rd times zero T is a weak solution of the ray hop class to NS, which is the previous equation. If V belongs to L infinity zero T L to sigma Rd uh, uh, intersected with L to zero T H one sigma Rd. And if V satisfies NS in the sense that following holds. So here, so this is uh, L2 in a product. And uh, this can be obtained if one, yeah, uh, like integration by path, if the solution is sufficiently smooth, one can get this equation for, uh, in, by integration by parts. But uh, in general, we don't know whether uh, the solution is smooth enough to, uh, to and we don't know for only from this equation the solution satisfies a classical equation, it, it satisfies the equation in the classical sense. So the, the, the weak formulation is this holds for all phi C0 infinity, 0 T, C infinity, 0 sigma Rd. And, uh, and uh, we also assume uh, the equation, uh, phi satisfy the energy inequality associated with the equation. And the here, H1 sigma, the closure of C infinity, 0 sigma Rd, compactly supported C infinity solenoid adapter function with respect to the H1 norm. Okay. H1 sigma here. And the existence of uh, weak solution of the luray hop class with the initial data in L2 sigma for arbitrary finite time was proven by the ray. And the result was extended to bounded domains by hop. So by suitable diagonal procedure, one can also prove that yeah, solution exists with the infinite time, but here we only focus on arbitrary finite time in this talk. Okay, so we go next. And uh, I'd like to, um, this is very famous, but for, yeah, for review, I'd like to review well-known results, right? so-called common knowledge on the Navier self equation. So, uh, in the below, uh, we call a weak solution of the ray hop class of the previous equation, just a weak solution. And uh, when dimension is equal to two, a weak solution is known to be regular and unique. And the uh, dimension is equal to three, it is not known whether or not a weak solution is unique. It is not known either whether or not a weak solution is regular, which means it is a weak solution is a classical solution. We do not know. So there are also a lot of studies concerning the existence of strong solutions that are not the Stokes equations, which are regular and unique. But uh, it is not known whether or not strong solutions for general initial data exist for infinite time when is larger than or equal to three. So, Dimension two theory is quite satisfactory, but dimension three, you know, a weak solution exists in a time, but uh, it's not regular. But on the other hand, strong solutions only exist for some very specific situation. And uh, okay, so. so the, bo both, both solutions are not so satisfactory to understand the equation completely. And uh, uh, if you are interested in the uh, so theory around classical Navier-Stokes equation, I re recommend to look at Temam, the Murray real set or Berseli theory. theory so the, the, the final literature is very well written literature on weak solution or existence of weak solution. Now this solves the question. Okay, go next slide. And uh, 
since uh, our equation uh, treats uh, two phase flow, so there are two substances, and the so we treat two substances, and uh, and uh, for uh, for simplicity, first we'd like to consider only Kahn Hilliard equation. We don't take into account uh, fluid motion. Uh, uh, phi is uh, order parameter, which means uh, how much each substance exists. So if uh, phi is minus one, it it means uh, that's uh, yeah one substance purely only one substance exists, and uh, if phi is plus one, other substance purely exists. So, and the equation is the following, and the derivative time derivative of phi is equal to divergence nabla mu, and the mu is psi prime phi minus uh, nabla uh, Laplacian pi, and in a bounded smooth domain in omega in R D. Sorry for typo. Uh, where this is equal to one, two, three together with the Neumann boundary condition. So Neumann for phi and Neumann for mu. The phi is initial, phi takes phi zero at initial date. And the psi is the double well potential, for example, this form. So it is called a non-singular free energy density. So non-singular means it doesn't go to infinity at some point. So it is non-singular in that sense. So it has two local minimums. So it is called a double well potential. So we assume the average of pi zero on omega r between minus one, one. So initial data, we assume, uh, yeah. for example, yeah, we assume initial data are between minus one, one. Not on the average, for example. Okay. And uh, from the equation, we easily obtain uh, the mass conservation. And uh, if we put uh, energy like this, so this is one can see if one integrate in space, one can easily get this relation by just integrating parts so you using Gauss divergent theorem using this. And, uh, and if we put uh, this energy like this, we have this equation. So this is can be obtained if we multiply phi to the equation, taking into account phi this form. For any smooth solution of phi for the equation. So, yeah, so these relations, of course, is the basis for the existence of solutions as, for, as in the Navier Stokes equation. So, existence of solutions is proven by Elliot Chan, and the convergence to stationary solutions is proven by Hoffman and Ripka in 1990. 99. But the problem about uh, so regular uh, potential is we can't assure that phi is minus one one when phi zero x, we assume phi zero x is here. So this is physically unreasonable because uh, as I said, the phi described uh, how much portion uh, each substance exists. And uh, to solve that problem, we introduce uh, another model with a singular free energy. And we consider a fr singular free energy density. This, so this is also double well, but the uh, uh, phi, phi dash is, yeah, then uh, goes to minus infinity and the phi plus goes to 
infinite. So this form, but the, uh, at the edge, it is, yeah, so derivative is infinite. So, and the, there is also if second derivative size uh, bounded from below by minus kappa. And one example of such thing that free energy density is this form. And when uh, theta is uh, between uh, this theta c and zero. And this was introduced, theta is here and theta c is here. And the phi is between minus one. And this was introduced by Khan Hilliard in 1958 uh, and the model with that energy density is called a regular solution model. Since the, so, yeah, solution is meaningful in a regular way. And uh, the Khan Hilliard equation whether singular free energy satisfies. Uh, so uh, this, uh, uh, and uh, so introducing the singular free energy solved the problem of the previous problem, which means uh, so this problem. Okay, so so and uh, this is. Existence was done by uh, Elliot Lucas, Debussy, Dutori, Ken Mochi, and others, and Abel Swift. And the uh, convergence uh, is uh, done by Abel Swift. And for every solution, uh, if the initial data between Minus strictly between minus one one and the solution also should be minus one. And uh, we come to close to our equation. So we introduce diffuse interface model with matched densities. So we consider the mixture of two kinds of fluids. There are two kinds of models called sharp interface model and diffuse interface model respectively. The so sharp interface model consider an interface which has no thickness and diffuse interface model consider an interface which has some thickness where both fluids mix. So maybe it's better to write, but uh, there, there are some yeah, mixed region. Now we also make diffusion effects of particles into account. And uh, yeah, diffuse interface model case, we also take diffusion effects. So particles into so diffuse interface model has advantage over sharp interface model that in, can describe topological change such as pinch off. So, so this is the equation. So here, B is the velocity and the rho is with since it is much density, so rho doesn't change how, how much uh, each fluid exists depending, uh, it doesn't depend on the portion of the fluid. And uh, okay, so this is the equation. And uh, this term describes some um, surface tension of the fluid. Yeah, it, 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 when it's translated in the context of sharp interface model. And, uh, and the DD is this symmetric gradient tensor. And uh, this model is derived by Ohenberg Harper in 1974 and 1996 uh, by Gertin and Hall by rational continuous mechanics way. And the uh, analytical results are obtained by these people, especially others. And the more recent ones is Georgini Miranville Tema work. And uh, okay, so uh, the following model, which we call local Navier-Stokes Kahilia, the system with unmatched densities, was derived by Abel Sangalke. So 
And the point is we consider the two fluids which has different density when it exists in a pure form. And, and it was the first frame in different and the thermodynamically consistent diffuse interface model for fluids with the different densities, which also has tolerance free volume average velocity of two fluids. So the point is that the way of taking average of the two uh, velocities of two fluids is volume averaged, which means uh, when fluid mixes, if it, if it exists in, in pure, if, if it separates in, it exists in, in pure form and how much volume it uh, occupies is, and this is the portion. Uh, and, uh, and in that way, one can average two velocities. And, uh, and in that case, one gets divergence-free model. And uh, another model, which is based on uh, density average velocity, uh, one gets some uh, so-called quasi-incompressible model by Wenger Trudinovsky. But uh, mathematically, or, or for incompressible fluid mechanist, uh, so uh, this is so more uh, incompressible model, so it's more uh, treatable by usual technique of Navier-Stokes equation. So it's one good point. Okay, so uh, so this is the equation, and the one difference is that so here J tilde enters, and J, J tilde is a relative mass flux and another point is the row is not constant and it depends on the yeah order parameter phi so this is the density of the mixture of the two fluids and the j tilde is a relative mass flux uh, and this is this enters here if we consider the equation for rho uh, and this is the reason why j tilde is relative mass flux So, so this is, yeah, the rigorous derivation is done by others, Kalki and Guru. And this system is complete, complemented by the boundary and the initial condition with this condition. So Neumann boundary condition and Euclid boundary condition for velocity and the yeah, initial condition for velocity and Phi order parameter. So, and, and the existence of weak solution is first derived by was first derived by others, Defner and Gauck. Okay, and uh, there is another model. So, non-local Kahn-Hilliard equation with regular kernels. So, so this equation is this one. The Okay, so, and uh, this is uh, regular kernel. And, uh, uh, so, so uh, regular kernel means here. So, and uh, this is potential, size potential. And, uh, and uh, where, uh, yeah, uh, size free energy and uh, where uh, J is a sufficiently smooth integrable uh, symmetric function on RD. J is this function and A is this function and uh, positive. Okay, so we maybe if, maybe it's safe to assume J is also uh, positive and uh, so, so this is the usual function with, and it, it is written by convolution. 
and uh, so uh, for example you know uh, for fractional laplacian case operator can be written with some convolution in the fourth space but uh, it it's singular kernel but uh, in this case it's regular kernel and the uh, Existence of the solution for these equations, Jacobian level bits and the Kajewski Zaharias. The asymptotics was done, studied by Gal Grassi. And the existence of weak solutions of diffuse interface model with the mass density with this Kahn Hilliard equation, non local Kahn Hilliard equation, was studied by Free Gary and Grassi. Okay. And uh, if we consider uh, uh, a much density case, the equation is fi as follows as before. Okay. This equation. And uh, okay, so QT is this and and the omega is an RD and, and, the, uh, and the we consider in dimension two and three, the, these is the velocity of fluid mixture. And uh, okay, so, so we consider this equation. Yeah, so, um, and uh, we'd like to consider the limit of uh, the solution to be tends to what in suitable situation. Okay. And uh, and uh, uh, so non-local free energy, this one. Okay. And uh, this is uh, uh, like before. And uh, more precisely, uh, since we would like to uh, consider some limit, the J epsilon should have some structure. The J epsilon is this form. The A type and the J epsilon is W11. The A type epsilon is a family of modifiers with the following property. So, um, so this the condition, and uh, so this is independent. This integral is independent with the respect epsilon. But uh, if we consider delta positive, then this converts to zero. So, a type epsilon, yeah, converts to. Uh, Origin uh, zero in some way, and uh, okay. So this means uh, this this delta epsilon modulus of x tends to Dirac delta when epsilon tends to zero, and uh, C D is this constant. So this is in a product, and E one is unit vector, unit vector in, in a, x1 is equal to one and the other component is zero. And uh, as it, this is Hausdorff measure. Um, moreover, we assume that fs is, sorry, fs is this form as uh, before, Kahn-Hilliard uh, model, original model. And this is the boundary condition and the initial condition. And the uh, existence of the weak solution, we'd like to review more results on local and non local analysis of scan here system. So, existence of weak solutions, as I said, uh, studied by the Stefan and Gauck, and the existence of strong solutions, a small strong solution, which is regular is for small times is studied by Weber, other student. 
former student. And the well poseness of um, Roka Navesos Khan Hilya the question in two dimensions is recently studied by George Ying, so uniqueness and regularity. And the existence of weak solutions of non-local Navesos Khan Hilya the question, so with a must case, with our much density cases studied by Frieger. And, uh, and I'd like to mention that uh, when other, uh, so this is, uh, if this part, this part is uh, re uh, replaced with uh, fractional Laplacian, so-called so regional fractional Laplacian, so, which means singular kernel case. So, studied recently by Abels and me. And uh, I'd like to mention other results on, uh, uh, since we'd like to uh, study convergence of solutions of non-local Kahn-Hiliad equation to those of local kahn the equation. Uh, 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 so Navier source kahn the non-local Navier source kahn the equation to Navier local Navier source kahn the equation. We'd like to review the results, uh, single kahn the equation case from non-local to local. So with the periodic boundary conditions and the regular free energy density case, uh, Melchiona, Rosenbauer, Scalpa, Trussali obtain the convergence result. And with the Neumann boundary conditions, uh, domain case and W11 kernel, the singular free energy density. So, uh, Davori, Scalpa, and Trussali obtain the result. And the gamma convergence of the non local free energy to the corresponding local free energy studied by Brugham, Brazil, Stiernes. Ponce. So the Ponce is a former student of Brazil. And the, these results are based on the results of Ponce. Okay, so and the, finally, uh, we'd like to mention some former results on convergence of solutions of non local Navier of Khan here, the question to local Navier source Khan here, the question. So, with the much density case, it is studied by Liang in 2020. Yeah, so actually, uh, when, uh, we, when we work on this, a much density case, we didn't notice this Liang's result. And uh, yeah, we are recently informed by the referee of the paper that this results exist. Okay, so, yeah, so and the uh, mass density case is our result, convergence of solutions, no local kind, Navier source kind of question to those of local Navier source kind of question with a mass density. This is our result. And uh, for we'd like to state more precisely our results. So we'd like to introduce some notation. And this is just usual notation. So, so this is just uh, X prime is dual space of X and uh, this duality bracket means this. That this is not just space of store strongly continuous function with values in X and uh, BCW is yeah, space of all bounded and weakly continuous function here with the spring or no. And the LQ is usual Lubeck space and the LQ MX denote the set of all strongly measurable Q integral function with values in X. And uh, if M is equal to open interval, we simply write this way. Uh, this notation appeared already. Sure. And, uh, and uh, omega, let omega be a domain in RD and then WMQ denotes LQ sobreless space and uh, WMQ zero denotes the closure of this Caesar infinity, this 
and uh, this sub u minus f q omega is dual of this. And H s omega denote the usual L2 vessel potential space, and the H s zero omega the, denote the closure of C0 infinity in H s when s is positive. And the DA uh, denote the domain Stokes operate this, and the L2 sigma is a default. Okay, so H2 and here H10, so yeah, there is zero there boundary condition. Uh, reflect. And uh, so we consider weak solutions of non local navier source kind heliod equation together with the boundary condition in the following sense. So V0 belong here and the phi zero belong here. The phi zero is between minus one one, yeah, almost everywhere, and t is finite, and the epsilon is given. Then V phi mu is a weak solution of non-local navier source Kahn-Hilliard equation to satisfy this. And this is usual energy class. So and these are usual energy class. And the uh, and the phi satisfies this almost every way. And uh, moreover, um, the following holds true. So this is the weak formulation of the momentum equation. And this is a weak formulation of the yeah, equation for uh, all the parameters. And the energy inequality holds. Or OT. And the existence of weak solutions for any V0 by zero uh, and for any epsilon is shown in, in figure right, or any finite time. And the, for the following, we denote by E0 epsilon by this and the E0 phi this. So, yeah. Uh, so uh, previously, this term uh, appears, but the uh, zero is without this term. So, and uh, because of the boundaries of F, uh, this inequality holds. And the following uh, lemma is due to double risk kappa trasadi and is important for obtaining our result. So phi uh, C H1 omega, and uh, it holds that this holds and uh, also this holds. So this is non-local energy and this is local energy. The, this, yeah. Uh, Expresses the fact that this converges to minus Laplace and phi in a weak sense. And for every sequence phi epsilon and the phi, I told that if this is finite, this is relatively compact, and the phi epsilon converts to phi in L2 omega, and then this holds. So, uh, yeah, th this result is very important. If phi energy of non-local non -local energy of this is finite with respect to epsilon, it is relatively compact. So yeah, phi is epsilon is somehow a little bit smooth in some sense. And uh, and uh, another result, important result is double kappa trasadi. So this result. So um, for any delta, there is some C delta and epsilon delta so that for any phi epsilon, and this holds. So here, uh, yeah, the energy, uh, non-local energy, and here, H1 omega prime. And if this controls, 
one can get this bound for any small epsilon one, epsilon two. So uh, using these results, we obtain the following results. For any epsilon, so this is our main theorem, and uh, we explain it. So for any epsilon uh, between zero and one, and uh, let the zero epsilon is L to sigma, and the phi zero epsilon L infinite omega with phi zero epsilon is between minus one, one, almost everywhere. And the uh, and, uh, average is of uh, either epsilon is m omega, which is fixed for all epsilon. And the uh, m omega is between minus one. And moreover, we assume that there are v zero in L2 sigma omega and uh, phi zero in H1 omega such so that and D0 epsilon converts to D0 when epsilon tends to zero in L2 sigma, and the phi zero epsilon converts to phi zero in L2 sigma. And uh, we assume epsilon D0 epsilon phi zero epsilon tends to E D0 epsilon when epsilon tends to zero, where E D epsilon is this. And uh, E five is this. Okay, so okay, so and uh, if b five b epsilon five epsilon mu epsilon are weak solutions of non-local Navier source kind of the equation with the initial values b zero epsilon phi zero epsilon, so we have this convergence result. A B epsilon weakly star converges in L infinity zero to T L to sigma omega to B. And the, this weak convergence and the mu epsilon also weakly converges here. And the B epsilon converges strongly here. And the phi epsilon converges phi strongly here. So strong convergence also obtained and it's important for passing to the limit. Okay, so this convergence uh, holds not only you know, for a full sequence, but for a sub suitable subsequence. And the uh, D phi mu is a weak solution of no local Navier source kind Hilliard equation. So this B uh, phi mu and F dot prime F dash phi belongs here. And satisfy the equation in a weak sense. And, uh, and, uh, and so that uh, limit uh, satisfies also energy inequality for uh, uh, initial time, usual energy inequality. Uh, actually, uh, whether one can get uh, strong energy inequality is open. So non-local equation, uh, the result of free Gary, uh, they obtain, he obtains a strong uh, so solution, luray hope solution with a strong energy inequality, but we didn't know yet that we can get strong energy inequality. So uh, for the rest of time, I'd like to sketch brief, very brief sketch of the proof. So uh, from the energy inequality, we see that uh, B epsilon is bounded in here. So hence we, one can find a subsequence so that, so and this holds. So and, uh, we'd like to just explain how to get uh, the strong convergence. We'd like to focus on it. And the phi epsilon is bounded here since this holds almost everywhere. 
Now, since L2 omega is compactly embedded in H1 omega prime, we have that uh, phi epsilon uh, converts to phi here for a suitable subsequence by the Obani on them. So we also need uh, time derivative of phi epsilon estimate for applying Obani on them, but this is got gotten from the equation. And using lemma two by Davoli et al. and the bounds on the energies, we have uh, strong convergence here almost and almost everywhere for suitable sequence. So remember that uh, the, this and the, 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 we know this convergence and the, but, the, but we also know the equal bound of this so and uh, by this uh, one know this is uh, Cauchy sequence. And by that we get strong convergence. And apply Oban Leon's lemma to and this so low B epsilon and the solenoidal projection here. So uh, this is solenoidal part of this equation. So one difficulty of the uh, unmatched density case or two-phase flow for unmatched density cases. Uh, so uh, one should treat uh, this term in a combination. And, uh, and uh, if one, uh, and this term is not divergence free, so we should apply Helmholtz projection here. And, uh, and, uh, and applying Oban Leon's lemma to this term, we get uh, convergence of in this space, so dual space. Uh, this is wide space, but uh, yeah, using this and the combining other results, we have uh, strong convergence. So for getting this, we also have to use this strong convergence result. And the convergence of nonlinear terms for the momentum equation follows from this strong convergence result. And for the validity of the chemical potential equation, which means, uh, So uh, this and uh, this, yeah, and this holds for the limit. So the, here Laplace also appears in the limit. So this part is uh, done similarly by this part is similar to the argument in Davoli and others using lemma one. Lemma one is. Lemma one, this important lemma. And, uh, and finally, sorry, finally, the energy inequality is proven also by applying lemma one. So this is the end of my talk. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much for your very nice talk. Uh, are there any questions, comments? Uh, please unmute uh, or please please write a chat. Uh, please raise your hand and I will- Please raise your hand, you sorry. Permission. Please raise your hand. Yes. <laughs> raise your hand and I will give you permission to ask yeah, the sure question you. orally you, directly to Yutaka. Please raise your hand. Uh, let me ask one question. Uh, I think your uh, convergence, your last convergence result is on uh, weak solutions. Yes. Do you have uh, some convergence results for strong solution? For yeah, this one? is a good question, but uh, I think it may be difficult.
Yeah, for example, so th this, uh, for con yeah, uh, so convergence here is mm -hmm. in some sense weak form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so maybe I think it's difficult to get uh, strong convergence here. So, uh, for this particular yeah. one, I see. Yeah, yeah so maybe yeah. it's difficult. In, yeah, convergence for mu, I see. Are there any further questions, comments? Please raise your hand. I have a question, actually. Sure, sure. <laughs> May I ask, Professor Giga? Sure, please, please start your question. Um, uh, Yutaka, the A epsilon in the lemma one result, what is this again, actually? A epsilon, sorry. The A, A epsilon, so in the second limit, it's a it's very A interesting A result that ah, it holds okay, that you okay. have that this goes to the gradient phi. Yeah, yeah. It's maybe difficult to remember. So yeah, A this epsilon, is, uh, this one, this uh, integral. With Characters function, yes. So, so it, it, it is a function of x, so yeah. So this is average in some sense, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and you were able to treat then, uh, this is holds for any kernel, so even if the kernel is singular, or does this only work for uh, um, regular kernel functions j? Yeah, j epsilon is just regular kernel. <laughs> but uh, when epsilon tends to zero, it yeah, in some sense, it converts to some yeah. So mm -hmm. differential operator. So differential operator can is some sense singular. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I think time is now very close to yeah, the coffee time. So maybe it's a good idea to stop uh, discussion unless there's further question. Are there any further questions? Not? So uh, we would like to thank speaker. Thank you very much for your nice lecture and we'll meet in the coffee break. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. And uh, I put the talk details. So when you look in the chat, I uh, posted the coffee break details for the uh, Zoom session of the coffee break into the chat. Please have a look and you're warmly welcome to continue the discussion with Yutaka. Thank you. Okay. I would close the, uh, the webinar with this then. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye.